Hi everyone, thank you for tuning to my channel. I'm Jennifer. Um, this is Manifesting Motherhood. So one of the things, uh, questions that I've been getting on some of the card readings that I've been doing is how to get started with a vision board. So let's first talk about what a vision board is. So a vision board is a board and that can be anything. It could be your wall. It could be, I used to have the back of my door. Now I have this that you can see behind me um, because I'm trying to be more specific as to uh, what I'm trying to put out into the universe. Um, but you can get some tag paper, some oak paper. You can put it on cardboard. You can put it in a notebook. I have um, a day planner that I also have my goals, which my goals are my visions for my vision board that I want to come into fruition. Um, and you place it someplace that is in going to be in your view constantly. So I have that up there. I also have, which you're not going to be able to, but maybe you will be able to see. Yes, you can. I have it inside here also. This is the one that if you watch earlier videos, you'll see, um, in the back of my door in our old room. So I have it you know, different places with different things. Although the very specific ones that I have are right behind me and they're in my day planner. So for your vision board, first of all, what I like to do is, um, I like to make a list. I love lists though. I'm like list crazy. So I like to make a list. What is it that I feel is needed in my life, in my future? What are the changes that I want to make? What do I want to see myself? Where where do I want my future to be? Um, and nothing is too small. You know, if you have a huge goal of um, whatever, whatever it is, if you have a huge goal that you're not near, it's just going to take you a little longer. That's all. Right. So I like to set up little goals and big goals. So as I conquer my little ones, I can cross it off my list because, you know, I love lists. So right now, um, I'm going to tell you what I have on my vision board. Um, we just bought a house and it takes a beating on your credit score because, you know, we live, um, we live in a town that is close to the, to the sound. So there's no flooding, but because of super storm Sandy, uh, and it's harder to get insurance than it was. So after going through 10, 10, 11, 12, 13 insurance companies. They all take a ding on your credit record among other, a bunch of other things also. So I need to get my credit score back up. I need to, um, I think we have, hi doodles. Hi baby. We're talking about vision boards. Do you want to have one? Yes. Well, I still do. And Julian, maybe this weekend, we have a long weekend, maybe we can make you another one for your room. All right? Okay. All right. I better go off to help Grandma. Okay, you helping Grandma? We're decorating for Christmas. Ooh. Okay. Um, also, my goal is for my AC1 number to go down, um, for my weight to go down, just because I don't have, I don't have a number set. I just want to be healthier. I want to feel comfortable again in my skin. Um, enroll back in school, and that might. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to look behind me to see what's there. But those are my main things: my health and wealth. And I always have, you know, money flows to me in abundance um, with ease. So. Once you have your list of what your main priorities are, and again, you can make it very general. You can make it um, very, very specific. I always say you should have some specifics in the middle, along with maybe some other long-term um, future goals on the outside. And as those inner, as the inner circle becomes comes into fruition. You start moving them, the ones on the outer end, and replacing them, right? 
so I collect magazines, free magazines usually, um, and I don't mean like five finger discount free. I don't mean like taking it from the doctor's office free. But like around here, they have like uh, Long Island Parents. They have um, I, I don't know, like so many different things that you can take from. And for my vision board classes, what I do is I cut out words from the penny saver or from the newspaper or from whatever I get free. If I do buy a magazine, and you know, sometimes I do, I keep what like whatever it is that I have, and you can find so many different things. Cars, jewelry, uh, something to represent marriage, the words love, um, relationship, goals. I mean, so many people when I do my vision board classes, have so many different things that they're looking for that these words find everyone. Or you could put them together. Like um, on mine, I had the word boring, and then I found something else that said no more boring, and then I put the word days, no more boring days. So, um, so once you have, let's backtrack. Once you have your list and you know what you want on your board, your next thing is to find either you can go online and print out the words. You can write the words in your own handwriting. The one I have over there is my own handwriting. Um, if you're a visual person where you need pictures and whatnot to help you focus, then I do one of the other things I get. Um, there's a, a diner that we go to. We all meet up once a month and it's a real estate a real estate booklet, homes for sale. And I take homes from there and I cut out the pictures of them. And people use that, you know, either for their current home, you know, they want to remodel or they're looking to buy a home or, you know, whatever it is. I don't always ask and not everybody's always forthcoming. Um, you know, some people that come to my workshops, you know, I don't always know everybody. I don't always have that rapport. And they just, they want to, make their vision board and they want to be out. That's fine. So, um, gift, not gift cards, but sometimes like greeting cards that I get or, or something, or I'll see something fairly inexpensive or you go to the dollar store and you can get cards or whatever it is. And you cut out, you just cut out the words, husband, wife, children, baby boy, baby girl, whatever. It doesn't matter. You get the point, right? I'm like killing it right now get the point. So you get your things, you have your vision board, you have your list, you find all of your, um, pictures, words, whatever it is. You know, I had one person who wanted everything written in a very specific script. So she brought all of her own things. I had a guy once that wanted a very specific woman. So he, I hear a little bit of a uh, commotion down there. So there was a guy that had a very specific woman and it was almost a little creepy to me and I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not judging and however you want to visualize is great, but he had like specific hair cut out and he had a bunch of them and then he had like, you know, but he was super specific and you know what? He ended up with a girl. So there you go. Um, so for your vision board, you want to have maybe a color that is pleasing to your eye. I like yellows and oranges. Um, I also like blues because it helps with my throat chakra because I don't always speak my truth. So I hear Julian coming up the stairs. Let's see. Come in. Oh, my last question. Do you have a bigger treat for the night before Christmas things? Uh, no. Sorry. Adios, amigos. Adios, love. Oh, I see my hair is out. So, I'm um, sorry about that. So, um, I, I really don't even know where I left off after that right there. So, okay. So, we have our board, right? I like blue sometimes for my throat. I like yellow and oranges. Um, 
sacral chakra, you know, whatever. You can do it based on your chakras, what you feel like you need to help balance you. Um, I also find yellows and oranges and those really nice, like, sunrise blues. That's what exactly what it makes me think of. It makes me think of the sun rising or the sun setting, and it just makes me happy. So I also do those colors. Now, what you want to do is, like I said before, it's just my suggestion. It doesn't mean you have to do it. Um, I like it to be organized just so that I know where to focus because I can be a little flighty sometimes where I'm like looking, whatever, and I'm all over the place and I need to keep myself focused. So whatever I find that I like is my core of my vision board is in the middle. And then because I am a little woo, I also put some around on the side because I know that when I'm looking around, I want to constantly be saying these things. I want to constantly, constantly be seeing these things. So, um, and I've also made multiple vision boards for different things because I found that I was cutting out too many things and I've learned to scale myself back a little so that I'm not like overwhelmed with vision boards and I have it instead of having, you know, the same thing on there in different words, 15 times, maybe two. And then I can fit everything else on my vision board. Um, where to place things is up to you, however it feels right to you. Um, again, most whatever you are really trying to visualize, I think should always be wherever your focal point is. For me, it's the middle. For you, it could be something different. Um, you don't need to have a theme. You don't need to have, like I had one just for business and money. One just for um, like the home, a new home and love and whatever. And I found that that was a little overwhelming because I start worrying and I spend enough time on this one that I am this one in my. So I combined them. I cut out whatever and I combined them on the whole new vision board and it worked out very well for me. So again, you want to where you know your focal point might be in the left corner. So then that's where you put your main visions, um, long-term goals, short-term goals, whatever, throw them all on there, how you want, where are you going to put it? Where, what do you, you know, where are you going to be paying attention to it? And just have it on the back of our door. So when we woke up, there it was, I had mine and I had Julian's on the back of the door. Um, now I have it right behind me and I also have it right here in this closet. Uh, and I, and I have one, there's another closet door right here. I have other things in there, but they all basically say the same thing. They're all basically the same goals, just in different places. You don't have to do that. You can have one, um, along with these vision boards, I definitely recommend, um, meditation where you're thinking of these things in your head. The more you're saying it, the more you're seeing it, the more it's going to happen for you. Um, mantras, your daily mantras in the mirror, brushing your teeth, washing your face, you're in the shower, whatever. You want to keep these things in constant in your um, daily activities, in your thoughts. You don't need to say it out loud, but as I've said in other videos, when you hear it out loud, sometimes it resonates even deeper because you're actually hearing the words, you're actually saying them out loud into the universe, into the world. And um, I also recommend paying attention because sometimes you have that vision board up there for so long that you're not actually even paying attention to it anymore. Yes, love? He's looking for the dog. Um, you're not actually paying attention to them anymore and you're just kind of going past them. So I suggest adding things to it, taking things off of it, um, paying attention to when something does come into fruition. You might not even realize it. But because it's there, because you see it, because you're saying it, and you're like, oh, I always do this to you guys, sorry. Um, and then all of a sudden, you're looking at it and you're like, wait a second, that's already happened. This has already happened. So you want to pay attention to it. You want to change it up, even change where it is, what it is, how you wrote something. Um, you can always add, you can always take away. I've had vision boards where I had something on there and as time went on, it's not what I really wanted anymore. 
So I took it off and I replaced it with something else. Um, and you just want to make sure that you're being consistent. You're looking at it. You're paying attention to it. And like I said, sometimes, you know, you can have something on the wall or wherever for however long a time. And suddenly it's almost like you're blind to it all of a sudden, right? It happens to, I think, everyone. Even if you don't realize it happens, I can almost bet it does. So I'm going to end this here with the vision boards. Um, I do have vision board classes. Uh, I have two a month. If you are local, you can uh, message me. And if you're not local, I also do them on Facebook. We do vision board classes. If you'd like to be added to the group where I do that, you can email me at manifestingmotherhood at gmail.com. If you would like your very own reading, um, again, you can message me at manifestingmotherhood at gmail.com. If you want to check out my um, Instagram or Facebook, or my blog, it's all Manifesting Motherhood. Um, my blog is Manifesting Motherhood at WordPress. Um, if you want to check out the oils that we use for our classes and along with the readings, I have some going right now. You can see in my window back there. Uh, you can check me out at youngliving.com slash manifest. And that's it. I'm going to end this here. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you put everything out into the universe. And as it comes back to you, I hope you feel that gratitude um, of receiving. And I hope that you just remember to be kind because it takes nothing to be kind, right? And it means the world to so many people. All right, have a great day. Bye.